ABC Sports College Football in association with the CFA offers the Florida State Seminoles and the Florida Gators in the swamp. And Harrison Houston 84 and Jack Jackson number one will be the return people for the Gators. Both are wide outs and both can fly and Scott Bentley will do the kicking off. Scott Bentley has already set a record over at Florida State for the number of interviews for a freshman kicker. <laughs> Here's the kickoff high hanging and well back to the one yard line goes Jackson. Ducks away from one from two and gets out to about the 22 will be Danny Werfel 6 2 200 pound red shirt freshman who has set an NCAA freshman record totaling more than 2,000 yards. I like the 21 touchdowns, which is the record, and the 10 interceptions. Eric Rett is the big running back that has to step up today, and he's breaking all kinds of records himself at Florida. But Dale Phillips Sr. is the referee. Werfel turns and gives to Rett, and Rett running over the right side. Picks up good yardage. You're in pretty good shape. And he loves to run on that side because that's where big Jason Odom works at one tackle and Ranger Green at the other. Those are two sophomores, 296 and 288. Offensive line has a total of 114 starts, so they know what they're doing. There's the pass off the hands of the tight end defensively. Derek Alexander is the bell cow along the front, has been this season for the Seminoles from Tallahassee. The linebackers, Eric Smith, you'll notice. Now, that's a position that would normally be occupied by Derek Brooks. But Brooks is not starting, coming off some injuries. The corners will be under some pressure today, and they're good ones, Corey Sawyer and Clifton Abraham. Werfel gives it to Rip, and he won't get his first down. He is able to... Edge is a great leg. Let's see if he can get the first one. No, sir, he did not. He hits a low-line drive. And it's taken by Sawyer, who shakes off one, shakes off two, and he's finally run down at the 45-yard line. And then the Seminoles come out in good shape with number 17, Charlie Ward, at quarterback. Mail him the trophy. Forget about it. <laughs> this is what he's done in 1993. It's a fast break offense with Sean Jackson and William Floyd as they come out in an old familiar Bobby Bowden set the two back and give it a Jackson. He is a pretty good running back himself but the Sean Jackson had a huge ball game at Tallahassee I remember against Miami just kept bouncing around and just ran all over the place. He's a very good back but he starts with a very good field position from the 45 at second down and nine now after the Jackson run and here's Ward's first play long pass downfield for Fryer is intercepted picked off by Anton Lutt and the Gators get the ball back at the 18 yard line and it's first down Gators put it on the 19 Werfel gives it to Rhett and he's out to about the 22. For Second down and seven for the Gators from the 22. That's Houston, the man in motion. Werfel back, getting some heat, gets the pass away, and it is incomplete. He tried to dump it off. That means three wide receivers at the bottom. There's one at the top, so they got a lot of folks ready to go downfield on third down and seven. Werfel's pass is thrown to the sidelines and not a good pass. So the teams arrived at the ballpark. That's still a low kick and still uh, quite short for Edge. And a fair catch is called by Sawyer. This is their fast break offense. Jackson is out as a safety receiver. Throws to Matt Fryer on the near side. And Matt Fryer is good for nine yards, putting the they have a pretty large responsibility. It's a good line. It's anchored by Clay Shiver, the center. Warwick Dunn checks in now to get exposed to the pressure. The freshman from Baton Rouge, you throw it down the middle. The pass is completed to number 88, Kez McCorby. And uh, the ball moves loose. And Florida State keeps the ball. Oh, the Seminoles have the ball pop out, but they keep control of it and get a first down on the Florida 39-yard line with Carter Johnson, Gaines Campbell. The backers are Daniels, Robinson, and Hanks. They're good ones. And the secondary, Kennedy, Hembrick, Gilmore, and Luck are pretty good. They've already shown you that as Luck had an interception in the last Florida State possession. 
Charlie Ward looks to Sean Jackson, gives it to him. That's just like a pitch out. Now they're up there in tight coverage. He looks to Dunn, throws to Dunn. Dunn takes a lick at the 36-yard line. So he worked all day yesterday. He worked the basketball game last night. And here he is again today. Gonna have to go get some rest somewhere. This pass is thrown out to Dunn. And Dunn is going to have a first down. Oh. They're going to get a, well, you got a penalty flag over there. Somebody grabbed his face mask. We have a face mask. In every yard, the Seminoles have picked up so far in this ball game have been from the pass. They throw it underneath. It goes to Tamaric Vanover. Vanover will go down close to another first down and second down, very short here. He steps up, throws into a crowd, and he's lucky that's not picked off. But he's six out of eight, 39 yards with the one pick. It is third down in a yard. And they give it a done. He's got the first down and more. First down for the Seminoles. Playing this year because of the injuries to Tiger McMillan. Incomplete. Bark out signals to try the offensive line off. Ward has a look, looks, sees Vanover, takes off, gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So they like to go to the halfback, Warwick Dunn. He leads this team in touchdowns with nine. Third and goal from outside the five. Pressure. Ward gets it off into the end zone. Touchdown. Vanover. This Gator crowd. <laughs> Here's the kick by Scott Finley, and it's good. So at 7.22 to play in the first quarter, Florida State takes the lead, 7 to nothing. Scott Finley, who leads the team in scoring, the freshman from Colorado, nails it way back into the end zone, and there is no return. Seven points for one yeah, Get his britches dirty at least. Pass is thrown to the sidelines, and again, I thought the ball might have been a little bit late to Harrison Houston later today on ABC Sports. The first two Florida possessions were the old tango gig, but this time they're going to pick up a first down, and then some, as Eric Rett is out of bounds at the 41-yard line. The first first down, and it's from the 41-yard line. Not much there, a yard or so, and that'll do it. Brooks is in for the first time today. Derek Brooks. He blitzes. He forces Werfel to get rid of it. Third and ten. Passes away to the tight end. Dean, no first down on that. He's well short of it. Punt. Little better kick this time by Edge, but he still really hasn't hit it the way he can hit it. And uh, William Floyd and Jackson are flanking Charlie Ward. Kind of like old Steve Owens A formation from the 45, 50 years ago. The pass is completed to Kez McCorby. At 443, he has moved past Gary Huff. Gators show blitz. Nope. This is Floyd with the ball. And Floyd can't fight his way for illegal blocking. It's holding. That was about a 12-yard penalty, and it's about second down and 15 or 16. Ward with play action, looking, 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 lets it go. Incomplete. And they've got a game to play yet. Big game, too, in Tokyo next weekend. Wisconsin, Rose Bowl, all that stuff going to that one. Ward's pass to Fryer. Fryer turned the defender around. He turned uh, 41-yard line and a first down. Ward is now 9 of 13 for 75 yards. Four different receivers have two catches. And this will work for about seven yards. With a little light drizzle coming down now. Underneath, pass complete. Done out of the backfield. First down. Make it first down. Seminoles, they lead 7 to nothing, and they've got something going again. Hand it off in the middle. Jackson. Here in the first quarter, 94 passing, nine on the ground. There goes Jackson again. 
Puts his head down, delivers the blow himself. He In the 15, Matt Fryer. Matt Fryer, the wideout, who just caught that ball and picked up close to eight yards. Here they come. Fryer. Ball came quickly. Fryer reacted quickly. Ranked number one in the nation most of the season. Looking at Knox. Out of bounds. Kevin Knox. He faked the ball to Floyd. Look at him. He's going to get away with it. It's incredible. There were three people that had a hold of him. This is Dunn. And Dunn gets a greeting at the six-yard line. And they'll let the clock run out now. And after one period of play, it is Florida State 7 and Florida nothing. Florida State looking to increase the lead to 10 to nothing with Scott Bentley trying a 22-yard field. 22-yarder is up and good. So he knocks it right through there. That gives him 89 points on the season. And it's 10 to nothing, Florida State. To keep the number two spot in the right. ball coalition. Hold. Otherwise, West Virginia might right. move up. Right. So if you're wondering who the Mountaineers are rooting for today, it's the guys wearing the dark blue shirts. <laughs> Look at this. This is Jack Jackson. That whole exciting moment. Everything's off. Nothing. We counts. have a little illegal block in the back at the 10-yard penalty. It was after change of possession. So First come back To stop Florida State so his offense can get out there. So they go to work from the 16-yard line. The pass is down the middle to Harrison Houston. Houston is still working his way across the 40 and up to the 41. First down. So put it on the 41 for a first down and give the ball to Eric Rett. And holding on to him is big John Metz. Four-man front to the nose. Pass is underneath. Poorly thrown. Spurrier will go back and forth between the two quarterbacks. And he's taken down from behind. That time he tried to hold it and Todrick McIntosh. Big time leg. He just hasn't hit one yet. Still hasn't. Sawyer running hard. Cracks it down. And first down for the Seminoles. Charlie Ward running the fast break offense. Fires it. It's caught. At the 35, four howitzers. <laughs> it may not a be a platoon of Marines. That's off Fryer's hands, incomplete. The Liberty Bowl, they have been invited. I know that's a fact. I'll tell you more in a minute after Ward completes this pass. My goodness, it's just pitch and catch right now between Charlie Ward and Matt Fryer. Bowl in Coca-Cola Bowl in Tokyo. Ward back again. Steps, look how quick he is. Just a little touch pass to Sean Jackson and picks up about nine yards. Second down, long one. He's caught six of the last nine passes. And the Gators step up. Everybody in, involved with West Virginia in any capacity is rooting for the Gators. And he won't get it this time either. The Knolls are going out at the 35-yard line. Ward has the ball tipped, and it is caught. Vanover caught the ricochet. One of the defensive linemen is going to get a hand on the ball. That's Gaines, and looked like it was 94. And Vanover has the presence of mind. Flyer, bottom of the picture. Underneath Vanover. It's the second best scoring offense in the country, yep. and he can't get on the field. Yep. That pass is incomplete. So third down and five. Ward's got uh, Vanover over there all by it's, uh, Dunn all by himself. Warwick Dunn put the ball on the Gator 11. That pass could have been picked. Yep. 
Somebody's got to step up. Otherwise, they're going to be in big trouble. That's incomplete. Intended for Van Over. Ward's third down pass plays. Five for five. Down the middle. Drilled it. But it is not a first down. Matt Fryer. He's got 12 of 17 in field goals. And now make it 13 of 18. And it is a 13 to nothing ball game with Florida State leading the Gators. They'll be their tongue will be hitting the knees in the fourth <laughs> quarter. High short kick. Out of bounds. And their future's not exactly dim, is it? Nope. <laughs> Werfel in there, throws the ball as the screen back inside for the wide receiver. If they don't get him quick, he may run a long time. And they finally track him down from behind with 6.52 to play in the first half. This is a critical drive. They need to do something with it right here. Werfel's pass. Going up to get it, Willie Jackson. First down at the Florida State 32. Going big. Jack Jackson, no. Defending Corey Sawyer. And I think Spurrier just said we need to challenge him a little bit. I think before they may have been a little tentative. Second down and 10. There's uh, Houston out there. It makes the catch. First down, Gators at the Seminole four yard line. Put the ball on the three yard line. First and goal, Florida. Rhett lined up behind Werfel. There's contact along the line of scrimmage. It's a free play. And he's knocked down. Nutrizomba got back. He snapped the ball. He wasn't offside. He just started to play. The ball was live. They got the sack. Now, there was contact, though, on that right guard. There's a little pass going underneath to Jack Jackson. And Jackson... Third down and goal. Pumps it, throws it to the corner. He's there. Touchdown, Jackson. Willie Jackson. Oh, did he get... If he got his feet in bounds and caught that ball one-handed, that's a great catch. Jackson, Werfel threw it to the back of the end zone. Not bad. He had a lot of feet in bounds. Ball on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> Judd Davis. Good. At four minutes and 41 seconds to play in the first half, we got a ball game now as the Gators finally get one. 13 to 7, Florida State. Edge is kicked. Going to go out of bounds, and Florida State will have the ball up on the 35. Dunn's got it. And he'll go down as Ben Hanks, the bandit back, got it. Second down and 12 for Florida State. Board down. They nail him that time with authority. Kevin Carter now brought this crowd back into the game. Ward gets his pass away deep down the middle. It's a big play. Caught by Kez McCorby. And now that's a good kick by Liss. And a fair catch call. As long as your, uh, your whole body can handle it. Uh... We don't do it every day of the year. Werfel has a long time and finally finds Willie Jackson and moves the football. Monday night at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. That goes to the tight end, Chris Doring. Werfel set the play, falling out of the line of scrimmage after he had a look at the defense. Here they come. Got it. Ken Alexander. Ball is in. The Florida State into the field. Werfel's got a problem. Alexander thought he had thrown the ball. And when he did throw it, he threw it very poorly. A little more on that one. Sawyer at the 35. 
We have an illegal block in the back. That's the change of possession. Ten yard penalty. First down. First down for Florida State from the 34 yard line. They lead 13 to 7, a ball game that's turned ragged. It's second down, long two for Florida State. With 27 seconds to go in the half, Ward steps away from the pressure. He's got plenty of room for the first down. They finally put the ball down. And Ward now goes to the sidelines and misses on the pass attempt to keep. Out to Dunn. Two people over there. He tries to spin away and get something out of it. Crowd trying to help the defense. Across the field, the pass is good to Vanover. <laughs> Short. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> blocked. It's blocked. First half is over at halftime. The Florida State Seminoles 13. The Florida Gabers, seven. They're going to set the running game back a generation. This Kickoff is going to go out of bounds, so the Gators don't start it very well. The opening possession of the second half, they start at the 35-yard line and give it to Sean Jackson. They throw that thing down the middle again, right into this time it's Lonnie Johnson, the big tight end. Third and five, the home crowd trying to help the defense. Ward throws it hard and sharply into the midsection of Matt Fryer. Fryer now has nine catches for 107 yards. Little quick one, Fryer again, he's got 10 now on the day. And he's finally dragged down by Anton Lott. It's 13 to 7, starting the second half of play. Florida State needs to win this game with some authority. Hand it off to the running back Jackson and Sean. First down at the Gator 40. And that's incomplete. The pass was intended for Kevin Knox. Or is he quick? Dunn's got it. On his way. Out of bounds. At the eight-yard line. Gilmore and Kennedy. Two back. Dunn's tripped up. Florida State trying to get the first points of the second half. Looks into the end zone. That man was taken away from him. Kevin Knox is on the other side, scrambling around, and he's still going. He's got a corner. Now he throws, and it is incomplete. Third down and seven. Into the end zone, McCorby. Touchdown. He just absolutely got away from that. The extra point try by Scott Bentley is good. 11-27 to play in the third quarter. It is now 20 for Florida State and 7 for the Gators. Our crowd today is 85,507. That is the largest pro or college football crowd ever in the state of Florida. Knuckleball gets a pretty good bounce to Houston. A face mask grab, and now that's what the flag's about. Quarterback. Five yards. First down. So a change of pace called up. But about something and hit his car keys and cut his cut his hand. Dean pumped it once. Now throws it. And nothing there. For 1993, and you can see he's a pretty good one. Five wide receivers, no backs for Florida. Passes away quickly. Passes incomplete. Quick. Third down and ten. A little light drizzle falling on the field. Blitz again. Dean whistles it and gets his first down. Caught by Harrison. 
Long count. That ball's a balloon, and the intended receiver cannot reach it. Let's see how he plays. Let's go. Don't go the whole game without trying your other quarterback. Coming with a little reverse, Jack Jackson is pinned in right at the line of scrimmage. It's third down and ten. Dean lets it go too high for Jack Jackson. Just punt. He has not had a good day. So he ducks away from one. And brings it back to about the 34 yard line. Sean Jackson with a big hole over the right side and picks up about 13 yards into the middle. And it's William Floyd. Arnold wins some. Uh, Arnold good he's good. He's he's done all right, hasn't he? Yeah, he's done he a big putt on the seniors. Yeah. This is Jackson. And Sean Jackson must be feeling better. Florida well, State going to their own offense, the I formation with a tight end. Move it, six yards. The clock is running at 7:40, and the rain is starting to come down a little harder. And if we can knock off about five minutes running the football and get another score, why not? That's sure. the way you win. Yeah. Gets a first down. Six and a half minutes. So they're chewing on that clock. This is Floyd. Oh, William. Make no mistake about that. Second down and eight. Charlie's still got it. He's coming. A big wide open field over there. And he slides in the third. First down. But they had one, one, one possession, possession, right? And we're at five minutes to go in the quarter. The book is going just the way Bobby wants it right now. This is Sean Jackson. The show blitz don't come. Give the ball to Jackson. He bounces off. And Bro gets a piece of him. Well, I guess he got it off. Ward's pass into the end zone is intercepted by Michael Gilmore. The would-be Rhodes Scholar comes up for the interception. <laughs> All right, Terry Dean stays in at quarterback. Pitches to Rhett. Rhett can't get loose. And he's going to lose. Terry Dean quickly lets it go. And it's a wounded goose. Ball is at the 18-yard line. It is third down and 12. The Gators have had virtually no offense in the second half. Only their second possession. That's a good pass by Dean. It is caught by Willie Jackson, and it is a first down up at the 34-yard line. They're faking like they're going to blitz. As the ball comes back to the 28. Intercepted by James Colsey. John Jackson and William Floyd in the backfield. And this is Jackson with the ball. And a pickup of about a yard or so on second down and nine. Ford's pass good. And is loose. That's Kevin Knox. And he's taken down at the 16. Florida's defense has contained the Seminoles, but He picked off the interception, and two plays later, it's touchdown. Scott Bentley's kick is good with 21 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Seminoles look pretty sound. They lead 27 to 7. In the second quarter, when they did something other than that, they've not done anything because of the Florida State defense. Why is everybody kicking the football out of bounds today? <laughs> I'm sure that just holds Tom Osborne and his folks to death. Dean throws, pass is dropped. 
by Eric Rett. Because after today, everybody's season is ended. There's the carry by Kelvin Randolph. So we played three quarters, and we'll be back with more between the Seminoles and the Gators after this message and the word from our ABC station. Right now, the Gators have the football third down and seven on their own 38-yard line. The pass is completed. Aubrey Hill at Barry Switzer's old Oklahoma Sooner team. Just bang, 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 bang. Dean has terrific protection, then turns around and runs right into Todrick McIntosh. So it's second down and 18. Pass is complete to Hill. Third and six. Blitz. Nobody picked him up. Nope. Brooks has been an outstanding player. Fourth down, they're going. From the Florida State 48, fourth and six. Blitz. Brooks missed him. Dean throws now. It's Jackson, Willie Jackson. Yep. Dean re, uh, refocuses. Now watch. That's a heck of a play by Willie. They both got it, and they don't have it. <laughs> Red stopped right at the line of scrimmage and bounces outside, and a whole lot of running for nothing. What a hard time. Boots in defense. Dean has time. Oh, Jackson got his hands on it and couldn't pull it in. 12 27 to play, third down and 10. Dean's pass to Jack Jackson. Abraham has him around the waistband. And, but it is first down. The ball is at the 13 yard line of Florida State. 27 to 7 ball game. Dean's pass into the end zone is incomplete. He was trying to touch it. Look at a nickel package out there right now. Dean goes again to Jackson. Touchdown. He got away from Mac Knight. Hunter Shane Edge holds it. And everything worked. 11.48 to go in the ball game. Gators trying to fight back. Now trail by 13. Snapping for the Knowles. Charlie Ward swings it out to William Floyd. Oh, they've given him the first down. Second man Jackson got the ball, and he gets checked back on the 40-yard line. Back there with Charlie Ward. Ward goes the other way with it, completes it to Matt Fire, and Matt's got a dozen catches on the day. Third and five. Finally get a little pressure on Ward. The pass is good for the first down. Well, he's a USC. Uh -huh. right? I agree. I agree. There's a little flip out for the tight end. Lonnie Johnson, Lonnie's second catch of the day. And the big fella rumbles for another Seminole first down. Put the ball at the 26-yard line. McCorvey. I'll tell you what, Kez McCorvey. Second down and three. Up the middle. Number four. They've been out on the field a long time today. William Floyd has a chance to carry. Lost the ball. And one of the Gators has got one of those look what I found. Uh, maybe. Yep. And Florida 14. Harry Dean is the quarterback. Out of the end zone. Yep, Harrison Houston was open. 
Second down and ten. Better get rid of it. Nope, no safety. Just outside the third down and 16. Dean standing in the shotgun back in the end zone. Throws it down the middle. The pass is caught. Now that may be a first down. Harrison Houston. Comes the blitz. Pass is overthrown again and again. He had Houston. Second down and 10. Dean lets it go quickly. And it's incomplete. Florida, on the other hand, will be off. Here comes the blitz, and Dean steps nimbly away from it and gets his pass off to Jackson. And Young Jacks for the clincher. Jackson's got it. Willie Jackson to the Florida State 41 yard line, 42 yard line. That was a 41-yard play. For Jack Jackson, he went out, pass in. Second and 10. He's going for Jackson again, and that is incomplete. Willie Jackson was pinned between two defenders. This defense. Third and 10. A catch certainly is 31 yard line. Dean on first down at the same time. Good coverage downfield. He throws for Jack Jackson. He's got it. <laughs> and Judd Davis for the point. It's good. It's a six point ball game with five minutes and 58 seconds to play. If I've ever seen a one for the highlight reel, this is it, huh? It's worth another look. Look at that. They were third and 15 on their own one yard line. Edge kicks off, keeps this one in the ballpark. Hand over at the nine. And they get him out of bounds at the 21. Charlie throws it, deflected at the line of scrimmage. Wallace fanned it up in the air. Charlie tried to catch it and throw it again. It's tough. That's a lot of noise. Give it to Charlie. Go ahead. Yeah, you can call off your party and just mail it to him. Just mail the Heisman to Charlie Ward. Throws in the middle looking for Matt Fire, and it is no good. So it remains a 12 point game. Now Bentley hits this one right at him. Two yards deep in the end zone, he's coming. Well, he's shifty. See what they can do now. Remember the last time they were all the way back on their one third down and 15, and they eventually scored. This ball is going to Eric Reck. It is an incomplete forward pass. Second down and 10. Dean got away. Throws for Jack Jackson. It's picked off by Corey Sawyer. He was fighting for his life back there, trying to find somebody. He saw a blue shirt break loose. First down at the Florida 39 for the Seminoles. And they'll run the first play with Sean Jackson. Five minutes to play in the game now. <laughs> You're the one in the crowd who's got the vote. <laughs> that Warwick gun still going. Man had him behind the line of scrimmage and couldn't pin him down. And the debate with you, the Florida State. 
played the toughest schedule in the country. They did clearly. The, the numbers point yeah. that out. Yep. Yeah. Not on the defense. Second down and two with 320 to play in the ball game. Here goes Sean Jackson. And he's got the first down at the 15. He had a great season. Oh, he did. There is no question. They beat Miami. Florida State now just trying to ball is at the 13 yard line pitch it back to Warwick Dunn and he gets back to the line of scrimmage and you've got about a minute and canal is down on a knee inside the 20 at the 19 Scott Bentley zeroes in and kicks 29 yarder it is wide right it is wide right but Florida State has a 12 point lead Barry Dean throws the ball to Eric Rett and he drops it with 46 seconds now the clock will start rolling again and almost surely Dean will throw it again and this is complete to Harrison Houston with a little bit of green to run on he turns in the big play and moves it out to the 44 yard line. Dean looks at is a backward pass. Rhett lets it go and it's picked up. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. No interception. Lynn Swan has been to, uh, exposed to the noise of the swamp. That pass down the middle is good. caught by Aubrey Hill. Decent, hard fought football game. by two pretty good football team. Dean throws down on a knee to make the catch is over Hill. And the game is over. Your final score, Florida State 33, Florida 21. And now stay tuned for the Skins game.